Hi grade 10 student. So in today's video, I just want to discuss what you should expect in term 2. So please make sure that you watch until the end so that you will know what are you going to write about and how you should study when it comes to term 2. Okay, so the documents that I'm going to use uh, is the teaching plan of 2024. Okay, so this is the teaching plan. Uh, of 2023 and 2024 uh, plane okay now let's start with a uh, week one two and three so week one two and three you are going to start with what we call a soul a soul trader transaction okay so when we talk about a soul trader you might be familiar with this word uh, under a business study if you are doing a business study so when we talk about a sole trader guys we are talking about a business a business that owned that owned by one person okay generally of course you are going to do a transition uh, that is related to this business okay so according to annual teaching plan is that uh, under week one two and three they say that uh, you are going to learn cash and credit transaction okay you are going to learn cash and credit transactions how are you going to account uh, cash and credit transaction guys when we talk about cash you know that when we were doing term one you did accounting equation and you know that cash is affect bank and credit is affect is either receivable or payable depend who purchase on credit so you are going to learn this into more detail okay then after um, week three you are going to learn a uh, debtors and creditors reconciliation so when we talk about debtors and creditors reconciliation this year chapter two so in this chapter you are going to learn how to, to, to reconcile. In other words, you are going to be given two statements, which is bank statement as well as a ledger account of the business. You have to make sure that those two accounts, they have the same transaction. They have the same balance. You, you are going to balance it, in other words. Okay? Then after that, you are going to learn uh, salaries and wages. So I already did some of the videos for these uh, chapters which is salaries and wages you're going to learn how do you calculate a net salaries how to calculate a wage and what is wage what is salary and so on and so on and also you're going to learn a deduction part okay then after that you are going to learn uh, year end accounting procedure which is pre-adjustment and post-adjustment trial balance which is final account of course you are going to learn a trading account as well as profit or loss account so you are going to learn this part as well then after that uh, of course you are going to be given a revision test by your teacher okay then now let's come to june examination what are you going to expect okay according to this teaching plan you are going to have two papers you are going to have paper one and you're also going to have paper two so what do you have to expect when it comes to paper one and two? Paper one contain term one work. Paper two contain term two work. Very simple, <clears throat> just like that. Which means that all those videos that you were watching, if you are not coming here for the first time, guys, for term one, you have to go back and watch them for paper one preparation. Very simple. You have to make sure that you master them as well okay now paper one is going to contain 150 marks and it's only two hours and this one is also 150 marks and it's gonna be two hours so you have to make sure that you write in time so that you will be able to maintain uh, this time allocated to you okay so if you check on my channel guys i have all these chapters that i'm talking about you just go to grade 10 playlist so that you can also 
watch uh, all those chapters and master yourself as, uh, as well as guys we also have opportunity those who want to attend our online extra classes they're still available so if you want to join us it's only 60 rand per month okay i noticed that uh, during uh, term one there were some people that they were texting me in last minute like they were writing tomorrow and they are texting me uh, today at night and they say that they want assistance we don't do that guys we don't do that if you want assistance or if you feel like you want to uh, attend our extra classes so that you will be able to consult on our whatsapp because our whatsapp guys is only available for those who are in our extra class group if you're not there guys you have to keep watching uh, videos on youtube channel whatsapp has been created for those who are attending our extra class because we won't be able to assist everyone you are so many if you check this channel guys i think it's approaching almost half of million views it's not gonna be possible for a single person to reply half of million people at the same time so we allow those who paid for extra class to consult anytime uh, on our whatsapp uh, group so if you are struggling with anything you can just contact us in whatsapp and we're gonna check if you are part of those who are who paid for extra class you're gonna be allowed to consult any question that we have or if you are struggling to find maybe in uh, some other question papers uh, we will also assist you and make sure guys if you want to join us if you check all the videos that i uploaded there is a banking detail and there is a number phone uh, under description there's a number phone that you have to send the screenshot don't text us uh, before you make a payment because you guys i'm receiving a lot of message which i won't be able to reply all of them some of the questions uh, obviously i'm I, I can't be able to respond all of them so, but if you already paid and you are sending me proof of payment it's gonna be simple for me to just add you to whatsapp group then we're gonna arrange that okay grade 10 they attend every friday at night so i hope you learn something and you're gonna try to maintain um whatever that you are, you are going to expect when it comes to term two guys remember if we are talking about paper one and paper two make sure that you maintain all of them because if you fail one and the other one you pass there is a higher chance that you are still going to do it to fail if you get lowest marks here for example you get 50 and here yeah you get 70 but when they add them together you are still going to get very low marks which you are not going to pass so you have to make sure that you you maintain all of them maintain all of them so that you will be able to prepare yourself i think we only have april uh, and may then after that you are going to write and you are going to write during may not june you are going to write you are going to start with your examination during may which means that you only have less than two months to prepare yourself for these two papers so i hope you learn i'm gonna see you on the next one